Hey, Brian from Raj Mahal. Today I have a Viver microscope, and this goes from seven times to 45 times magnification. So let's open up, see what we get inside. Um, I'm opening it here because I'm not sure where in my studio I'm going to mount this at, just because I don't know how big it is. So let's uh, let's discover that together. And this is kind of like the size of the box. It's actually a little heavier than expected. I mean, I can definitely lift it by myself, but I was like, I was expecting something a little bit lighter, um, which means this is probably on the, the beefier side. So that's a good thing. So opening it up right away, let me give you a quick peek inside. Those are the directions. It's packed really well, and that is kind of like your uh, nice little mount for your different objects you're going to be using on this. And let's get uh, some of this open up. So this looks like very cool. Will be a cover. Presuming this is going to be a cover. So I've got to be kind of an idea on that. Pretty cool. And there's something in there. And we'll get some of these other pieces out. So there's a whole bunch of different accessories. And then this looks like the articulating arm. Spring loaded, so be careful not to make it go too springy. So, and that's the base. So it does have some mounting screws there for you. So let's get that kind of situated nice down there. Pulling the other pieces out that I see laying around in here. A couple parts bags, a couple different pieces. This looks like a, this could be the device that you put your objects in. Okay. All right, so let's start making some sense of everything by getting everything out. Okay, so this is the light. So one of the cool features of this is that it has a LED USB operated a light that will go, the lens will go right through here. So whatever you're working on, you'll be able to see clearly. Let's open this box up. That is the magnifier. A bunch of all the little accessories and pieces in here. Okay. So let me bring you the instructions and the parts list. Just so you can kind of see how that goes together. There's some other pieces. It kind of shows you how you can mount it onto your bench. I am probably going to mount this with brackets because I got a couple places in my studio that I'm looking to put this. So some brackets will give me the ability to be a little bit flexible with this for the time being. Okay, let's start setting it up.
Okay, so this arm does come out pretty far. Kind of give you an idea. And then you do have a bunch of little spots that you can tighten this down, lock it into place. So very cool. And I think we'll keep it kind of like that. Okay. All right, so I got this mechanism here, kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. So we are going to unscrew this completely. And then we are gonna slide this up through the shaft here. All right, so this is a 13 millimeter. All right, so that took a little bit of time and travel. So you can put this on there now and that will lock that into place. And it's got a cool little thing that you can push down and lift up on that and articulate that into the position that you need. Now you have your headrest bracket, which will basically go in through this piece right here. And kind of move that into place. And that'll be adjustable as we move. Next is going to be the eyepiece. Now simply mounts in here, like so. Once we get the bracket situated the correct way. Okay, so that kind of sits in there like that. Then you have your set screw on the other side. Now we'll kind of lock that into place. Okay, and then this is the LED light. Okay, so there are a lot of articulation spots on here, a lot of levers, a lot of adjustment. And if you can see my work bench, uh, which is basically my lift temporarily, I had this elevated quite high just because um, the way I have my headrest set up on this, as well as the way that the lenses are, again, it's very versatile, fits to what you are. So definitely take some time to set this up properly. There is a set screw right here, if I can get that to focus. And that is for your lenses that go in. Um, I'm not particularly sure what the technical term for those are. Um, this is how your light mounts. There's like some ridges in there and I find the light useful. However, uh, we're going to take a look at my, my watch here. It does get some glare depending on the angle. And again, I may not have this set correctly, but I love the fact that you do have a wide variety of intensities to the point where it's almost like the reflection is like blinding. So you do have as soft or as bright the light that you need. I'm just using a USB pack right now to power this, but it is just like your standard USB that you can plug into like a laptop or desktop or whatever you have. Old cell phone charger. Um, now here, I wonder if I can. Okay, so this is looking down through the microscope. I'm trying to keep this in frame as best I can. Very difficult to do, but you can see the detail that you can get. And the magnification is adjustable. So as long as I keep this centered. So kind of give you an idea. And you have to adjust. Yeah. 
Okay, kind of give you an idea. You can focus really down. As long as I can keep my camera focused here. Okay. Now, depending on your eye, obviously, you'll be able to fine-tune it. This is a camera lens, basically a, uh, a camera looking into the microscope, and I cannot get this centered as best as I want to, but you get the general idea. I mean, it's pretty, pretty awesome, the detail that you can get. I mean, you can see the fine scratches on the crystal. You can see the fine scratches on the bezel on the side. And again, it is a tight area to get into, but that is kind of the magnification that you can get. You can actually get a lot better and it's all set up. And again, anyway, I absolutely love this thing. I mean, the articulation that you get out of it, the adjustability is like tremendous. Um, I mean, you can adjust this to fit the, I guess, the width of your eyes. Um, you have individual focus on each lens so like you can almost like dial in your prescription for this to make it really easy this headrest is great especially um when you're working on something for a while like i was changing a watch battery uh that was pretty awesome the the work zone that you have is great so there's like a lot of adjustability there's a lot of work zones so you can really get in here with your tools and stuff uh again the light i love the adjustability of the light um it you know you can put it all the way up and it's kind of like makes stuff too reflective, but you can turn it all the way down so you can kind of like fine tune that. Um, adjustments are, are all over the place. You know, obviously this will get you up and down your magnification. Um, your arm, spring loaded, levers, really easy to adjust. You get it totally customized for your height and everything else. Um, I have my bench, uh, well, it's my lift, I'm using it as a work table, but I have this rather high because I felt that um, the higher I had it, the more, I guess, erect I was standing. So I was able to get myself into a better, more comfortable position. Um, you can tell this little stand, I mean, this is a, you know, it's a piece of weight. So, you know, if you accidentally hit it, it's not going to move around on you. If it does, it's going to go right back to where you had it positioned. Um, kind of give you a quick look at how these LED lights work underneath there. Pretty awesome. Um, you can you have a five times lens on this. You have adjustability here. Um, overall, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, absolutely love it. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.